November 11, Monday, the Memorial of St. Martin of Tours, Bishop, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Things that cause sin will inevitably occur, but woe to the person through whom they occur. It would be better for him if a millstone were put around his neck and he be thrown into the sea than for him to cause one of these little ones to sin. Be on your guard. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. And if he wrongs you seven times in one day, and returns to you seven times, saying, I am sorry, you should forgive him. And the apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. The Gospel of the Lord Things that cause sin The Gospel is a guide on community relationship similar to Matthew's collection of Jesus' sayings, often called community discourse. Here, the disciples are warned against giving the little ones things that cause to sin. The little ones probably refer to the believers whose faith is not yet strong, to scandalize them, that is, to lead them to fall and lose their faith in Jesus, merits a severe punishment. The second instruction is on the readiness to forgive an erring but repentant member of the community. Seven times refers to a full number, that is, without limit. In Matthew, this is expressed even more extravagantly, 77 times. The church, the community of Jesus, embraces both saints and sinners in her bosom. Though the just fall seven times, they rise again, precisely because they receive the forgiveness of God and of the believing community.